got everything set up. We in the blind now. We got about 40, 45 minutes to shoot. All right, we're gonna do a little post-season blind review. Blind I built, the scissor blind with the top that I built worked out fantastic. Um, hands down, best blind I've ever built. It's about five or six years of trial and error in the making of this blind. Um, I got a blind build video that I made, you know, back when I was building. It's posted. If you haven't seen it, y'all check that out. But, so I'm going to do a post-season review, kind of let you know how the blind worked out. In the past, I always break my blinds. I always break them on the corners, and they just, they just don't hold up. They usually make it right to the end of the season, and they fall apart. And then here we go. Next year, we're getting ready for duck season, and we got to make a new blind. Didn't have that this year. <clears throat> Put enough thought and trial and error wisdom into it that it worked out and uh, you can check all that out on the blind build video but that being said blind worked out great I had no issues with the corners this year um, I had no issues with any of the framework none of the blind material nothing everything held up um, you know we went with um, we went with this this 3D, you know, camouflage, and uh, you know it's rot resistant, mildew resistant, water resistant, and it worked out really good. Normally, I use the Avery blind grass, and the problem with it is it rots after it gets because it gets wet, and it rots, and it turns black, and it molds, and it mildews, and it stinks, and <clears throat> you got to replace it. But I put this. Um, it's not even grass. It's like a synthetic plastic. I mean, it's, I don't know. It kind of feels like the stuff like a Walmart bag's made out of. I don't know, but anyway, I put that all in the blind and it, it's held up. It was water resistant, rot resistant, worked out great. So, duck season's over. I'm getting ready to get the boat cleaned out and put up for the year. Get ready to do some trot lining, crawl fishing, you know, what have you. So, the only thing we gotta do to take this blind apart, take this blind off the boat, is we walk, well, let's go up here and probably see it better at the front, the bow of the boat. Let's get up here to the front, and it's got four pins. You should be, all we're gonna have to do is to take pull that pin out of this we got a pin with an R clip there one on that corner that corner that corner all four corners pull those pin and R clips out and the blind should come apart it's already packed up and rolled up tight all we gotta do all we should be able to do is pull those four pins and then lean this sucker up against the building and and that's it so <clears throat> I'm going to do that now. I'm going to take the blind off and uh, let y'all see how easy that is to do. But um, anyway, I'm going to tune y'all back in. I'm going to get the camera set up on the tripod. And then I'll pull the pins, remove the blind, lean it up on the shop. And y'all can see how easy it is to do that. So y'all stay tuned. Alright, I'm going to pull this pin out here on this side. Gotta do all four corners. Make sure you put that, sure you put that pin back in the pole. Put the R clip in it. Now 
when well, come September, end of August, September, you start getting ready for teal season, you got your parts. You know where they are. You ain't got to go hunt them or go buy new ones. Or, you don't want to do that every time you get ready to put your blind on your boat. Let me show you what we got here. Show you what I did. All right, look. There's a pole. Okay. And see, you got this little old pin. This little flat head on one side. It goes to this. Got all these little holes and arc clip. That's the only thing holding it on there. Okay. That's the only thing holding holding this blind on the boat. And I got these. Little old angle clips right here. You know, I drilled holes in the boat, put some bolts and lock nuts on there, and uh, had to drill out this hole right here, make it a little bit bigger for that pin to go through. But uh, that's the only thing that, that's what the blind operates off of. I got those pins at, at Marvin's, and uh, they they worked out really good. I've been using those pins on every blind I've built, even the ones, even the ones that broke on me. I've been using those pins since 2011. That's how long they've been on there. So they're great, they work good. Same thing with those little angle clips. I put them things, I bought this boat brand new in 2011. <clears throat> From Backwoods Landing in Decatur, Alabama. If y'all looking for a nice duck boat, they'll custom make whatever you want. This is where I got this boat from. It's a 1548V, they call it a V-hull because it comes to the point and it's kind of V'd on the front but it's really, a, it's still a flat bottom boat. But anyway, anyway, <clears throat> So yeah, those angle brackets and them pins have been used on every blind I've had since 2011 and they, you know, they work great. So now all we got to do, take the blind off and then lean it up against the shop. And that's it. We'll get it back out into August to start getting ready for teal season. We just pop the blind, see how easy that was. So we're going to take it all completely off now and uh, you'll see how easy it is to take off. Got two pieces. We got one side, we got left side and right side. Pick it up, pull it off. Well, that ain't gonna work. Because I forgot, I got part of the blind top zip tied right there, so I gotta get that off. Ain't no big deal. Cut that zip tie. I sure forgot that I had that on there like that. Now I remember now why I did it. I was hunting. We was hunting one day, had a little loose part, <clears throat> wind got the blow, had a little loose part in the wind blocker and had to put that zip tie on there to keep the steel. Got about that. That was not part of the original plan of the boy. <laughs> got air. We got decoys. We still got decoys hung up here. doing exactly what we want. Still take it on and off without too much trouble. Yeah. Got 
that sad, though. Alright, we got that side off. Kind of a two-man job, kind of long. We got that side off. Got it set down. Now I'm gonna get this other side off. You won't be back. We're just gonna come off that side and end it up right there about the shop. So I'm gonna turn the tripod a little bit. Maybe you can get a little more of that in the play. We hear some noise. I had them youngins out there yesterday, had them working. We cut down a tree. And now the city, the city of Camden, they out there, they loading up my tree. If you hear that noise, hear that tractor? Yeah, man. Yeah, buddy. Good old, good old city of Camden, Alabama, hold my. All the millenniums off of me. Alright, now here's the top side. This is the blind, this is the top side, it has the top on it. We're just gonna take it and slide it off right onto the ground, lean it up against the shop. That's all we're gonna do, just like that right there. Now, what y'all think about that, huh? What do you think about that? There it is. The blind is off the boat. It's leaned up right here inside the shop. We're ready for next duck season. Look at that. There's the boat. Got the blind off. See, it's just these little old brackets. That's the only thing holding it on there. Just them two little, got a, you know, four little old angle brackets. That's the only thing holding this whole thing on. But yeah, we got that done. Boat's ready for, for the summer. Spring, summer now. Ready to do a little fishing, a little trot lining, a little crawfishing, you know. Got to get all the decoys out. Got to get Mr. Yeti out. Decoy poles, all this yada 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 yada. Got to get all that cleaned up and put up. Probably pull the boat around front and wash it out because it's got mud and leaves and grass and duck feathers and stuff everywhere. Get this thing ready. But uh, yeah, if y'all looking to to build your your own boat blind, your personal custom built boat blind, now they got some great ones on the market. I think Axe. Uh, Axe Banded brand makes a great blind. They call it the Axe blind. It's portable. You can it's it can be used as a boat blind. It's got four little old boat brackets, you know, that clips in real quick. You can take it off <clears throat> and actually set up on it, set it on the ground, in the you know, in some shallow water, and use it as a you know a blind. Uh, it's it's called the Axe blind. It's it's pretty awesome. HTR Innovations has got one too. It's pretty nice. I don't I don't think theirs can be used for a boat, but anyway. This one is a boat blind only. That's what it's for. Right here where I hunt, you know, normal water pool conditions, we can wade, but it don't always work out that way. The river jumps up, you can't wade. Well, you got a blind to get into. So, I mean, with, with a blind on a boat, your, your hunting places are, are unlimited. I mean, you can go anywhere. I mean, you ain't gonna worry about, well, we ain't got nowhere to set up, you know, we ain't got nowhere to wait, you can't, ain't got no grass to get up in, ain't no buck brush. And, set the blind up, hunt. You gotta go with the number one rule in duck hunting is, who knows it, if you know it, put it in the, put it in the, in the comments. What's the number one rule in duck hunting? We're gonna see who knows it. If you know it, if you know the answer, put it in the comments. 
<clears throat> First person to get it right just knows you're a duck hunter, I reckon. I ain't got nothing to give you, so I don't know. But we're going to see who knows it. <clears throat> we're going to see what who knows it. What is the number one rule in duck hunting? And I'll tell you in the comments after a couple people try. If they don't get it right out right off the bat, I'll let you know what that is. See, I'll be looking for that in the comments because I ain't going to tell you right now. We're going to see how many folks going to watch this video and participate. We need participants. Come on, guys. What y'all doing? Comment. Get back with me. Sub. Like. Do something. Man, golly, just don't watch the video and then back on about your business. Give me a thumbs up. Both in the comments. Talk to me. Talk to me, guys. All right. Anyway, there you go. That's the post blind review. It worked out great. I, I am strongly encourage y'all to go and check out the blind build video so you can see how to build one for yourself. And uh, if you have any questions along the way, hey, hit me up in the comments. I got you know it no notifies me when I get a comment, and I will respond to you. Okay. So till next time, y'all bust them up.